thought we played better tonight. Um, we gave ourselves a chance. Um, we talked after the Georgia State game that I felt like we needed to play better to have a chance to win um, these games now, and I thought we did. Um, obviously, turnovers killed us. Um, Wendell Green tried to go, just really, really, really couldn't. Um, and uh, I thought Trey Donaldson came in, did a great job, but obviously then got in foul trouble. Um, I had to play Zepp uh, at that point position. He played a lot there last year, um, and he did he did really well. But that was another change. And then uh, the, the the real shift in the second half was I think when USC was pressing us, and we turned the ball over a couple of times, attacking pressure, and usually that makes us better. So. Disappointed that we didn't do a better job there. Um, the the first half was a really clean first half. And then the second half, when we got ourselves in a, you know, fouls were 8-1, 9-2, and fouls are mistakes. And so if we made that many mistakes that early, that, 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 that really affected the next 15 minutes of the game when we were in deep foul trouble and they were, they were 20 for 25 for the foul line of the second half. And they only shot two free throws in the first half running the same, you know, running the same offense. So. Bruce, uh, how much do you think not having Wendell affected the turnover count tonight? Well, I think having a hand a healthy window would have would have would have allowed us to attack pressure and uh hopefully hurt pressure. Um and so, you know, no look, no excuses. Um you know, but but obviously, you know, it hurt us. Um, Doug Ellis had a great game tonight. What do you think? Just, Who's that out? Doug Ellis is my guard. Yep. But what do you think just really uh, about this game? Well, I think, I think Boogie's a great player. And um, and he uh, was able to, you know, kind of uh, score. You know, I felt like, you know, they 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 need, they need him to score to win. Um, and... He, you know, he did a really good, he did a really good job. Um, you got to guard him. You know, I thought we did a great job on Peterson and, and the rest of them. Um, but, but, but obviously Boogie was, you know, enormously the difference made, made great, made great one-on-one -on -one plays and made shots and was the difference in the outcome. You said, you said in your own understanding that you thought you played better uh, rebounding wise. Uh, it, it seemed to be a pretty big difference from what you guys have done the last couple of games. No, I thought I thought the guys. I, we I thought we communicated well. I thought uh, coaches had a a real good preparation this week. Had a good game plan. Um, I think we executed it for the most part. Um, and uh, we you know we did play. We we played a lot better. So um, you know we got to be accountable for uh, our turnovers, and we got to be accountable you know for who did Boogie score on at the end of the day. When we find that matchup, you know, is there any consistency there? Who got scored on uh, in our one-on-one -on -one closeouts? And, 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 that, 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 and that was a bit of difference. But look, um, um, you know, I'm pleased with, I'm pleased with this, this team right now. If we could continue to grow, we've made a lot of progress since last week against Memphis. Hey, Bruce, um, what's going through your head during that last 40 seconds or so? Where it's like they were down by six, got it within two. Um, you know, Johnson tries to miss a free throw, all that. Well, we actually tried to miss a couple of free throws. Chris Moore was supposed to miss one, and KD was supposed to miss one, and we made them both. We were, we were trying to get a, a rebound and a tap, but I thought the kids again really, really, you know, competed. We, we pressured them, we turned them over. We gave ourselves a chance. Um, I didn't have any timeouts, which very rarely happens. Um, and on that last possession there, um, we we had, again, because, again, different people in the wrong – different places, Zepp kind of crossed in front of him, and KD did, didn't get as clean a look as he might have gotten. Um, and uh, I, I, I thought we did a lot of great things down the stretch to – give herself a chance to win the game.
All right, guys, it's time for a couple more. Again, if you have a question, put it in the chat. We'll go to Ike Jones next. Uh, Coach Pearl, um, can you comment on the status of Jalen Williams? What happened with him after that fall? He got banged out, got his bell rung, and we'll know a lot more tomorrow. All right, anything else? Go back to Nebias Wilborn. Bruce, um, you, you mentioned the team playing better overall. What are the things that you would say you could take away, like, positively and then move forward from here? I thought we communicated better. I thought we executed better. We got some really good looks. Um, we rebounded better. We were more physical. Um, we were a little bit more bought into the game plan. Um, and so I thought we made, thought we, you know, and, and, and I thought the kids' attitudes on the bench were great. And um, so that was extremely positive. We'll wrap you up with a question from Nathan King. Hey, Bruce. Sorry. Uh, Janai said, you know, once the once they got into the double bonus there down the stretch, he felt like um, y'all were kind of playing timid on both ends or had to play timid on both ends because of the whistle. How much did that affect you guys down the stretch in, in what you're trying to do, particularly in the half court? Um, you know, I just we again, um, it was different. You know, each half was different. So um, the key is to not get yourself in that kind of foul trouble. And so. Um, fouls are errors and mistakes. So we fouled them. We put ourselves in that situation. 